welcome to the final episode of Football United. Don't worry, we're going nowhere because as you can see, Moria Mandal, Darren Caldera and former blonde and now back to black, Paul Macefee <laughs> is uh, are still alongside us. So, it's only fitting that we start with that, shall we? Uh, on a scale of one to shambles, <laughs> how did you find Mace's blonde hair, Darren? <laughs> well, that's shambles into thousand, I would say. Credit to Mace. Uh, you know, he kept his word just like uh, Professor Prad the other a couple of weeks ago. But but good stuff, Mace. And yeah, it was it was funny though. I wish it lasted a bit lo- a bit longer. <laughs> now he's, he's he's back in black and and yeah, ready to go. Uh, just to put things in context, uh, Mace on this very show a uh, few months back had said that ATK Mohan Bagan would be top of the table at Christmas. Right. ATK Mohan Bagan decided. That they wanted a blonde mace. Mace, how <laughs> was that experience? <laughs> this hair color is through the week. <laughs> uh, well, I've obviously got to have us to thank for that one, haven't I? But uh, no, no, I mean, you, you make these predictions, you have these little bets and a little bit of fun. I can't believe he's just lied to everybody and said it was a shambles. He was telling me how good it looked and wished I'd dyed my eyebrows as well. So, <laughs> you know, I mean, this is. <laughs> but no, I, it, it is what it is. You know, I lost, I had to pay up. And that's it. Uh, I won't be gambling with my hair again. Let's put it that way. Like I said on live TV, Mace, you have our collective respect. So, well done to you, sir. You're a man of your words. And I hope that your wife comes around. So, we'll come around to the topic of Indian football once again. And let's find out what we have on the show for you. Looking back at a roller coaster week as Ferrando moved to ATK Mohan Bagan and Derek Pereira took over at Goa. We pick our favourite moments from 2021. Mace and Darren picked their Indian 11 of the year. Well, if you thought Mace going blonde was crazy, even crazier things have happened in the world of the Hero Indian Super League as FC Goa lost their head coach Juan Ferrando to ATK Mohan Bagan and someone who's ingrained in the fabric of the club, that is FC Goa, Derek Pereira, took charge. So, I'll come to you, Mace, first this time. Mace, first of all, did you see that coming and do you see this as a fix mainly because Juan was already in the bubble? I, I, I can't believe that Goa have let him go so easily that he had that release clause in his contract. Um, it, it's it's a strange one. It's a weird one. Um, obviously, they like his style and brand of football that he tries to play, and he has actually changed it when he came in with his first match. Anyway, he, he did tweak from what Habas was doing, uh, and Derek coming in that just makes total sense for me. But Juan Ferrando was it was like a bolt from the blue, wasn't it? I don't think anyone really really expected him to join ATK Mohan Bagan. Uh, Darren, coming to you, it's a very strange one, right? Uh, nobody expected this, but is Ferrando the right man? Because Habas was the complete opposite style of football. Yes, May said they have the players, but is it so easy for players to quickly change to a different style of football? We saw some bits in that first game that he took charge. You could see straight away he comes in, he gets uh, Yoni Kauko off, uh, you know, which is a bit of a surprise because he's been somebody who's been playing regularly. And he gets McHugh back in and uh, they look like a good side, yes. Uh, they are, you know, but there's still a lot of things to be done with them. I think he still needs to find, uh, he needs to get Roy Krishna firing again. And there's going to be pressure. It's, it's a massive team, AD game on Bagan. So, I don't think he can, he's not going to be given enough of time to come in and settle in. He'll have to start uh, winning right away and they, they start off with a win, which is great. And Darren, on the other hand, we have uh, Derek Pereira, who has stepped up at FC Goa. Big pressure again, Goa, not where they want to be. They are far away from the top four as of now. A few wins will change that, obviously. Can he do a Khalid Jameel, what he did last year, and inspire Goa and become the second Indian head coach to take the team to the top four? I definitely think he can. I think it was a very smart choice uh, by Goa to get Derek Pereira in. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I read a few reports where they were looking at him and another foreign coach and they decided on Derek Pereira, which I think was the right move because, you know, you get a foreign coach in, He's going to be in quarantine for a bit and, uh, you know, he'll probably come out with a different sort of formation. Uh, he'll expect something different from the players and it takes a while for, you know, players to get uh, used to a coach. They don't have a preseason now, so he'll have to get in straight away and make those changes and which is why I feel Derek was the right choice because he hasn't changed anything. You know, I thought he would probably play a back four. I thought the Derek Pereira that I know, who generally sticks with the back four, uh, would change that. But he, he stuck with the same 3-5-2 uh, that they've been playing. Um, you know, and uh, you know, didn't change too many things. You could see the kind of football they were playing, a lot of possession. Uh, t- he tried to keep it tight at the back. They, yes, they conceded a goal, but I felt uh, they were looking a lot better defensively. Uh, they're still looking out for that first clean sheet, but I think Derek Pereira is the right choice. And uh, 
again, the top four is going to be really, really close. We are going to have a few teams there, you know, probably seven, seven, eight teams who could, you know, get into that top four, and it's going to be a very close battle. But I think they made the right choice in in getting Derek Pereira in. Well, the good news for both uh, Juan Fernando and Derek Pereira is that they are off the mark in terms of uh, points. So it was a Merry Christmas for them. Speaking of Christmas, here are some of the Hero ISL players celebrating Christmas. the players having a good time it's obviously miss difficult for players right to stay away from family for all these months to stay in a bio bubble it's not the easiest thing and sometimes maybe we forget how much they're sacrificing i do think people forget and they don't realize how much pressure and how much stress is actually put on the guys and put on everybody at christmas time and and it's an amazing job that they can still go out there and perform and give their best in the hero isl um, you know, but everybody in life has to make sacrifices. If you've got to sacrifice four to six months of your life, then sometimes you have to do that. But it's it's not easy. You 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 know, Mojo, Anna knows, Darren knows. It's not easy, but we have to do it. I mean, they have to be professional, Darren. Uh, obviously, it's not easy. This is the second time Christmas has been celebrated by these Hero ISL players in a biosecure bubble. What's the biggest challenge for them? You think? Sometimes when you think about the players, you think about. Uh... You know, as fans and sometimes neutrals, uh, people just tuning in to watch Indian football, you look at a game and you look at performances and you just wonder, oh, you know, this player is, why is he not performing, what's happening in the team and things like that. But, you know, I, I think it's really hard, uh, you know, you, you think of some teams at the top, it's so much more easier when you're winning games, uh, you know, that whole atmosphere in the camp and, you know, sometimes there are players who are injured at the moment. Just think about that, you know, when you when you have an injury or you have a, a team that is losing games or a player who's not in form, you know, it, there's never like, it's not easy. You can't just step out, go to the beach and take a walk and come back, you know, to just get your head straight and things like that. You're, also, you're stuck in a bubble. So it's a lot more harder uh, for players, you know, I think it's important for the coaching staff also uh, to make sure, you know, the group is, it's a tightly knit bunch. you got to keep everyone together, everyone involved. And it's, it is hard, but you you got to give credit to a lot of the teams. We did say it was the last show of 2021 though, since you say the show must go on. Uh, so it's only fitting that we look back at what a year it was for Indian football. Both the men and women have been kept rather busy. There have been some awards along the way. There's been futsal as well. So um, should I put Mace on the spot first, Moria, and ask him his favourite yeah. moment of 2021 in Indian football? If I've got to pick one moment from Indian football over the last 12 months, it would be, uh, it would be, yeah, ego stimulus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually, I actually messaged him, and and I know that you guys are a little bit naughty, and made one of those gifts or gifs or whatever they're called. He <laughs> sent it through to me, so I sent that to him, and 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 he was laughing. He took it in good spirit, and he okay. turned around and said, you know. Yeah, we, we, we actually finally scored and, you know, there was a lot of relief for him and for the national team to be able to get that victory. Um, and, and I think that that helped the team uh, drive on. But that, for me, is, has to be one of the moments of the season or the year. It's got to be one of the moments of the year. Darren, your yeah. moment of Indian football? I think women's football is, is on the rise. It's only going to get better and that's good to watch. And then i got to mention the, the AFC Under-23 or... Uh, uh, yes. Boys as well in the, in the Asian Cup qualifiers. I thought the, they were outstanding. Just the way they the, the way they played, you know, fearless. I thought that that's the word you got to use for them. It was just fearless. It seemed like uh, you know they just set out to like prove a point. A lot of the a lot of the boys you saw there weren't regulars. 
uh, for their club. A lot of them were, you know, on and off and getting game time. I thought Raheem Ali was outstanding, Bikram Pratap Singh as well. And then you could see they've they've taken that those performances into the league this season, and they're just uh, you know progressing by uh, you know each game, and uh, that's so good to watch. So these two uh, moments for me were outstanding in in 2021. Anand, your moment of the year. Uh, mine. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go with the theme of women's football over here because them playing against Brazil in Brazil, what, uh, halfway across Manisha the world. Manisha scoring that goal. Manisha Kalyan scoring that goal. I mean, 24th November, I think it was. It'll be remembered for a, for a long time. And we actually level in terms of the scoreline for half an hour. And I know for people who don't watch Indian football, probably tuning into this will be like, what's the big deal? You eventually lost, what, 6-1? But they don't realize how difficult it is, and maybe you know what? It's set a benchmark for the men as well to play stronger opposition away from home. So yeah. the ladies leading the way, and of course, it's in the lead up to the Asian Cup uh, next year. But what what better than playing Brazil in Brazil? I mean, it's like a footballer's dream, isn't it? So yeah, yeah. that would be the one for me. What about you? Well, there, there are so many uh, that are the contenders. There is obviously India winning the SAF Cup finally after a few disappointing games to start off with. Uh, there's obviously Manisha scoring against Brazil. That's outstanding. Uh, FC Goa in the AFC Champions League. Uh, yeah. First time an Indian team played there. Nobody gave them a chance. Nobody thought they'd come back with something. They did. Dheeraj obviously was a, a star of the show. But for me, one thing uh, probably is Sahal coming back to form. He's a player that I've always, always wanted to do well because you can see the obvious talent. But him scoring... First in that SAF Cup final, I think that gave him the confidence, and now he's scoring. Uh, scored in the opening game against ATK Mohan Bagan and has scored a few more. Hope he can keep that going. So for me, the moment is the renaissance of Sahal and Kerala Blasters. Fair enough, and I, I remember he said that goal, that third goal that he scored in the final yeah. was a miracle of God. So obviously he, he he realizes that he was under a bit of pressure. But okay, that's that's as far as the picks are concerned. So let's now go, go to the picks in terms of the Indian eleven of the year. And yes. I wonder if Sahal features in any of these two gentlemen's 11. So, Let me set out the rules. Rules, rules, rules. Oh, okay. rules. Okay, it's yeah. Indian 11 of the year 2021 for club and country. Okay. Only take into account 2021 performance. So, okay. what you've done in the past does not matter. What you'll do in the future does not matter. What you've done in 2021 is all that matters. Having said that, Darren. Okay, so, so my 11, I've got a 4-4... Four, four, 1-1 one, one formation and there's Gurpreet Singh Sandhu in goal, the big man. Mm. I've got um, Ashish Rai, my right back, Sandesh Jhingan, Sana Singh and uh, Akash Mishra as my left back. Then I've got... Uh, just stopping you there. Yeah. Sandesh and Gurpreet are probably the surprise ones because Sandesh hasn't played for the large parts of the year. Yeah. But Indian footballer of the year, right? <laughs> That's also true. That's also true. Yeah. And then I've got uh, Bipin Singh on the, the left as my left winger. I've got uh, Apuya and uh, Thapa in the middle and I've got Liston on the right. And then I've got uh, captain leader legend Sunil Chetri in the hole and Manveer Singh up top. That's my 4-4-1-1 formation and I can see Mace completely agrees with me. <laughs> so no, I think that's, that's, a, that's a fair choice from Darren because again a lot of these players have had a good 2021. Uh, Obviously, Sandesh hasn't played much, but as Anand rightly pointed out, AIFF Player of the Year. Gurpreet, the second part of the year, hasn't been the best for him and he'll agree probably. But overall, through the year, he's probably still the number one keeper. Mace, agree, disagree, what's your team? Right, well, I, I mean, we're, we're along the similar lines, but I'm, I'm on a 4-2-3-1. Um, I'll come to my goalkeeper last because that one may surprise me. Please, please. Uh, That's the Ashley. controversial, so let's get that out of the way. So, Ashish, Sana, Beke, and Mizra. That's my back four. Pretty solid. No questions there. All played at the high level. All performed all the way through 2021. Apuya Tapa, two wonderful talents. I've got Manvir on the right, Liston on the left. And in the hole, I've gone Brandon because I thought he was absolutely electric last year. Uh, uh, last year, I'm, I think we were in last season. 22, as in last season. And up top, I've got, I've got Captain Lee, the legend, for his performances for the national team because I thought without him, they wouldn't have won that sack cup. Yeah. In goal, and, and you're going to laugh, and they say one swallow doesn't make a summer. But young Gill, for me, has been absolutely unbelievable. I, I, I weighed up the fact that your Dirajis, your Amrinders, your Gurpreets, and that, and we may have only seen him for a short spell. 
back-to-back -back clean sheets, you know, come in under pressure, has taken over from Albino Gomez and just looks like a natural. He looks so comfortable in goal. And, and I think that he is going to be an absolute superstar and he's caught my eye. You're asking me for what my team of 2021 is. I'm sticking him in, I'm giving him the chance. He can have the opportunity to play for me in goal rather than go with the old tried and trusted. Because I think you'll agree, all the goalkeepers this past year at some stage have dropped clangers and really, really have let themselves down and let their teams down. So it, it's a difficult one, but that's that's my 11. It's always good picking the Indian 11 of the year. Thankfully, Moria and I don't have to do it. We'll slip into a short little breather. As you can see, uh, Ishan has not been picked in the team, but that has not stopped him from having a little, little bit of fun with uh, Peter William Hartley. So here's Ishan, one apple a day, Pandita in this special that you don't want to miss. We'll see you straight after. No chance. No chance. Liar. Liar. You're a liar, man. Liar. 15, no chance. You're 15 Go. seconds. Come on. Hey. Me, Pawan TP, Dinliana, Ricky, Ali Sabia, Alex Lima, Greg Stewart, Nerka, Jordan Merry, Pandy, and I'll wait for a second. Karan, I'm in. How many is that? <laughs> that was 15, huh? I hope that wasn't 15. Mm, no, no, I didn't. I didn't. I got 10. I counted. That's a, a lot harder than what he just did. Eight? Call him a liar, I'll call him on this one. I think he's dug himself in too deep. <laughs> Own goal, goal, offside, free kick, foul. <laughs> oh, keep that clock ticking. I've only got five. Penalty, Whoa, free kick, three. corner. I'll go nine. Wow. Ten. I'll let him take it. Liar. Liar. Big liar. Peter, Jordan, Greg, Lima, Nerka, Elisabia, Ivan, Noguera, Edu, Ortiz. Oh, yeah, 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 but listen, he's got an advantage. He's played for two teams in the ISL. So, and, and Go have hardly signed anybody new. Ten. Pete? I'm gonna go 11. Liar, 100% liar. What? 11 this is teams. so easy, man. No chance. You ready? He's gonna Shall choke. Toothbrush, toothpaste, shower gel, conditioner, bath, shower, toilet, toilet seat, toilet paper, toilet mat, and towel. <laughs> and me. <laughs> he said toilet like six times, he said toilet. Uh, face wash. Boom! Doesn't right. matter, it's different things within the toilet. <laughs> 10. 10. I'll go 12. Lies, 100%. 12 in 15 seconds, good luck. Players, jersey, physio, manager, toilet, shower, socks, shorts, strappings. Uh, gels, drinks, and a fridge. Fridge, <laughs> fridge in an fridge? Indian dressing room. Yes, is he a fridge? In Indian dressing room, no chance. What, what do we drinks go in, Jal? No chance. Thank you. No what chance. do we drinks no go in? I want him to do my celebration. <laughs> that was crap. He's never been boxing before. <laughs> Miss 2022, what's in store for all of us? It's coming home. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, uh, I mean, obviously the World Cup's the big thing. I mean, I'm looking forward to, to seeing how this season actually pans out going into to 22, because I, I think this is going to be the closest run league that we've seen in the additions that we've had previously. There are so many teams fighting for that top four. And it's just going to be intriguing. And it's going to, I think it's going to go right down to the wire to see who's going to win it. 
It's never been this tight before for Hero ISL, uh, and it's it's going to go right down to the wire to see who wins the title and who wins the crown and who wins the league. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. I really, really am. On that optimistic note, Anand, it's time for us, I think, to say goodbye. Think goodbye, 2021, but Happy New Year, everyone. Yeah, happy, happy New Year to all of you from all of us. Paul Maysfield, Dan Caldera, Maria Mandel, thank you so much for your company through this year. And obviously, next year brings not just the World Cup, but also the Women's Asian Cup. So, Iran, Chinese Taipei and China. Beware. That's coming in January. But until until then, it's goodbye from us. We'll see you next year. Sorry, next week. Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year.